Hey YouTube, uh, Firewizard23 here. Today I have decided to start a new Let's Play. I hope everybody is going to enjoy it. Uh, let's click here, we can get it started. Uh, it's going to be The Castle of the Winds, Part 1, the question, A Question of Vengeance. Let's read what's going on here. Castle of the Winds is a shareware product. It is not freeware. This means that if you enjoy and continue to use this product, you should become a registered user. You can register and order Castle of the Winds Volume 1 and 2, which is not available as shareware, for $25 and get a sheet of hints and tips how to play. Da -da -da -da. You may distribute this program to your friends as long as you distribute all the files that came in the original package. Thanks for playing, and good luck. Uh, folks, if anybody wants this game as they see me playing it, just uh, hit me up and I'll be happy to just email it to people. So here's the game. It is The Castle of the Winds, Part 1. A question of vengeance. So uh, let's. Uh, I never hit the overview actually. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, this just kind of tells you how to play the game. Okay, it's, I don't want that. Okay, uh, let's start a new game. Okay, so here's the basic uh, character setup here. Uh, let's create the character here. We'll call him my name, Fire Wizard 23. And what you can do here is you can maneuver these things to change your uh, skills, your strength is the amount of damage you do with weapons, intelligence is how much, how strong your magic is, constitution is your physical prowess, your health and stuff, so that affects how many hit points you gain per level, dexterity is how fast you are, how easy it is for you to evade or succeed in landing blows. I'm just going to toss the points randomly here. Okay, I'll be a male character. You can also import, let's say it's female, looks like that, male. I like the male character myself. Um... You can also put in a custom character icon. I'm going to play this on easy. I don't think I've done a lot of playing on the difficult and experts only, but we'll just go there. And we have uh, spells we're going to have to pick to start the game. I'm going to take the Heal Minor Wound spell, and the game begins. Uh, let me... Sh just one minute, folks, while I align some stuff. Okay, so if I've got it right, you should just be seeing this screen here. You shouldn't be seeing the full screen anymore. So, yeah, so here's how the game works. Basically, this is a standard, pretty much adventure RPG, if you will. We can use the mouse cursor to look at these different locations. We can also use the arrow keys to move around. For example, this is Jorn the Blacksmith. This is Gilhan's General Store. Olaf's Junk Store, and the home of the Village Sage, and down here is the Shrine of Odin. Let's pull up our inventory. So here's our inventory. All we're carrying is a normal dagger and a small pack that can hold 12,000 weight at its... Oh, a 50,000 max bulk, I guess the physical space it can hold, at a 12,000 weight max. There's purse that has 1,500 copper pieces. Awesome. And normal dagger. Yeah, we're going to need a little bit more than that. Let's head to the weapon store. Um, okay. This is a pretty pricey. You can see our gold up, our silver pieces, bleh, copper pieces up here, 1,500. I'm trying to slow down my speech a little bit so people can hear me, because this is mostly going to be an audit auditory commentary. 14.7, that's quite a bit, actually. But I do want something a little better than a dagger. Club's only 105. I guess I'll keep my dagger right now. I don't need leather armor. We're actually going to pick up something pretty quick. Um, I'll take a shield. And you can actually just put that right in your shield spot and you'll try to buy it. 252 silver pieces. Yep. Also take some bracers. 105. And some gauntlets. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go over to the magic shop. They have a neutralized poison book. That's 1664. A two-slot belt. I'll take that. What I can do is I can actually double-click on these, and I can open up the belt and look at the items that I have stored on the belt. That's pretty cool. Also, have a medium pack. I would like to have a medium pack versus a small pack. It's only oh, I'll take some boots, twenty-six silver pieces. I'll take a cloak for an overgarment. But I will take the pack. I'll put that in my free hand for the moment. Let's put the medium pack in the small pack. Let's put the small pack in my hand and put the medium pack as my main pack. And I'll sell the small pack back to him for fifteen silver pieces. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, Snorri the Sage can identify items for you. Olaf's Junk Shop Store will sell things you don't need. Let's head up here. We're out of town now. If you go over here, 
You gaze once more at the charred ruins of the farm where you raised, where you were raised. The burned, you burned the black, blackened skeletons of your godparents in the remains of the garden they loved. But you can't bury the anger which still sees at the thought of how they died. Grimly, you vow that nothing will prevent you from avenging their deaths. The marauders pillage the farm quite thoroughly. No in the ruins can you find the amulet left to you by your true father, whose dying words whispered to your godfather were supposedly of its importance to you, of how it could lead you to your fortune and great glory but only if you proved your worth. Your godparents had promised to you for your 18th birthday. Now you have neither you have neither godparents nor birthright, and your birthday has just passed. A search for clues in the rubble finds only a confused trail of footprints leading north towards the mountains. Many of the footprints seem to be much too large to have come from the boots of bandits or soldiers. You look north, wondering, where might the amulet be, no be by now? To whom must you prove yourself, and how? Yes, that's pretty much the story in a nutshell. You're just mad that you're... Godparents got killed. C can we sense a Star Wars plot here? I mean, I guess that was, you know, his Uncle Owen and his Aunt Beru, but I mean, it kind of seems very Star Wars-ish. Uh, anyway, we got hit points down here, 11 out of 11, mana, 5 out of 5, speed and time, we're on a rough trail. You see abandoned, neglected highway and a trail leading into the mountains. This, by the way, is kind of like an... Whenever something happens in the game, this, this little cursor here will tell you what it is. I don't know what the name of that... This... <laughs> section here will tell you what is happening. Like, you know, you hit a monster, they miss you, that sort of thing. But there does seem to be an entrance to an abandoned mine. Now, you want to use the numeric keypad here on the right side of a keyboard, because you can go in all of the... Oh, give me a break. Go away. You can go in all of the... Are you kidding me? Okay, we are not going to... Go away. Um... I kept opening something up on Cam Studio. You can also grab your hero and just kind of drag him physically. Maybe I'll have to do that. So let's like go here. Is it... Will you stop? I'm going to figure out a way to do that. I guess I'll have to drag him for now. You can move him through the dungeon here. Oh, see, that's a monster. You see an uninjured kobold. Now, if I move... He sees me now, so if I move, he's going to start moving. Cobalt hits you, ow. But if I press right, I hit him. But I'm kind of wounded, so I'm going to use heal bite wounds. I'm just trying to hit him and trying not to die. There we go. Got the cobalt. If I press the get button, I can get this item here, which is a suit of leather armor. And this, I'll just tell you right off the this item is not cursed. There are some items that are actually cursed. That armor is not cursed. It's the only one, only a couple of a few items in the game I can actually just guarantee that with. I haven't explained really the origin of how I got to know this game. This game was on my sister's PC. I think she had a compact. And it was just a standard... Oh, we got a giant rat. You know those games like Solitaire or Hearts that are just a standard part of a game system you'd buy? This was one of those games that was on the system. At least that was my sister's uh, statement to it. Though I've... Looking at it, I'm uh, surprised that it is such a game. So we killed the rat. Maybe we can do something here. Oh, uh, you hit character to bring up your stats. But isn't there a way to... Sleep until mana is restored? Yep. You're going to see me do sleep until your mana is restored quite a few times in this LP. Let's keep on going through. This first floor, by the way, is the only... Oh. Got a goblin. By the way, it's the only floor in the entire game that is always the same. Oh, we killed him, and he didn't turn to ash, he turned into copper, which we can just grab. Yeah, this is the only floor in the entire game that is always the same, no matter how many times you play this game. Every other game you play after this is dynamic and created the at the time you go. It always has different items, it always has different monsters and randomly set locations, and I find that really kind of unique about this game. So I'm going to save, and we're going to save this as Fire Wizard 23. And I guess it's no secret now. Yes, my name is Charles. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Charles. Yay! So I'm Fire Wizard 23. We'll just save it like that. Not valid. What? Like, I can use any way to save name I want. Do I have to be a little bit less... Oh, here's what we'll do. We'll say level 1. There we go. I don't know why Fire Wizard 23 was a less acceptable save name than Fire Wizard 23. Level, than level 1, but, well. 
So in the next uh, video, folks, we'll continue exploring, and maybe let's we can find the amulet. That is our birthright and all that. So I'll see you then. This is Far Wizard 23, and as they say on Quillen, have the best day ever. Later.